guys, this is Andrea Gatti from my study room and today I'm going to talk about the push-pull technique. So the push-pull technique is a technique that allows us to exploit the rebound of the stick in order to execute double strokes. In order to do that, we have to understand some mechanics that are behind the, this movement. So we will analyze the mechanics and then we will look at the movement in itself. So if we, if we understand how the stick moves, we can understand how to let it move and get out of the way. Let me show you. So if I just drop the stick on the pad without having my hand on it, you will see that the, the stick has this kind of rebound. Look. So if we understand that movement of the stick we understand how we need to follow that movement allowing the stick to move free so here we go so the first thing is understanding that as i go down the stick comes towards as this rotation basically now what i will come up, I will close my hand and I will pull my other, my other note. Now, first of all, I want you to do this exercise that will allow you to develop a good control of, the, of this movement and allow you to understand the movement of the fingers, how the, the, the hand can release the stick without getting in the way. I suggest that you use a heavier pair of sticks so I use for my pad exercises from when I study this hand technique I like to use a, a thicker stick like it's a bit more chubby and I use a 5b but that's completely up to you anyway let's go with our exercise so you will get the the stick in the our grip that we already saw how to hold the sticks in the previous videos so you will just to refresh yourself you will hold the the stick between your first knuckle of the middle finger and the thumb like this then you will just cover and have the index out of the way so it allows this mo this motion because if it's here it cannot happen okay from this position you're just going to allow the stick to fall back by opening your fingers and then you're going to pull the stick back into position and it acts like a seesaw basically so this is the fulcrum okay so just allow the weight of the stick to push it back so let just let it fall and then you pull it back into position Now make, make sure the whole movement is fluid and that you're not pushing the stick back by you allowing it to drop. Then we're gonna transfer that movement on the pad. Now look at my wrist. When I ex ex execute the, the movement, I'm going to push down. And as the stick hits the pad, it's gonna naturally come up and I'm just gonna allow that movement okay notice how I'm not doing this I'm not pushing the stick back and my wrist is when I finished when I I'm basically my hand is facing down because I push down I just open my fingers allowing the stick to rotate the step number two, which is easier, is just you just push your hand back into position. Now, some people emphasize this movement by putting an accent on the on the pull motion. So you pushing and you pulling. Why? To strengthen to strengthen your fingers. So at the beginning, I wouldn't stress that too much. As you get comfortable and confident you can add that too for now i would just suggest that you learn to 
allow the stick to rebound, and then you close your hand. Notice when I close my hand, I don't go, I'm not tight. I try always to be loose, and I try always to, when I'm playing, I try always to have round motions. I'm not going vertical because there's no vertical movements in the in the body. Everything is round. Okay, so I want you to get your pad and, and practice just one hand at a time. So you're going to do your right hand and do it slowly. Now I'm doing it fast, but, but I know how to do it. So it's like, okay, you do one. And I suggest doing this in front of a mirror so you can look at, analyze yourself, analyze the movement. Then you can, then you can do it with your left hand. And you can even do, I would do at the beginning, just one, and then you stop. One, and then you stop one and then you stop and you want them to sound all the same now once you you've done both hands okay thank you for for watching thank you for staying with us please consider to subscribe to our, our channel and if you want to join our communities you can find us on facebook we have a facebook page we have a very nice Facebook group that we are growing a, a drummer and percussionist community. If you would like to join, we are very happy. You can follow us on Instagram and on TikTok. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you again.